Hey, good to see you this week. It is skincare and makeup for dry and sensitive skin. I don't know about you, but I am dealing with itchiness, irritation. My skin does not like this time of year, and it doesn't matter whether it's winter or summer. We deal with these issues year round. You lose humidity in the winter time, skin gets itchy, scaly, and dry. In the summer, there's more exposure to sun, wind, and all the elements, water. So you deal with that and so it seems like we're always trying to kind of calm our skin down that's not even factoring in whether you have eczema or rosacea or other innate skin conditions that kind of factor into the equation. So I really wanted to target this video for those of us who are dealing with skin sensitivity at the moment. Best ways to hydrate the skin, also makeup that will help in that process. So as you can see, I'm fresh from the shower. I have a little bit of a glistening and a glow and that's how the process starts. First of all, the minute I turn off the shower and I'm still wet, I grab this baby and I've got it in my shower. It is Palmer's coconut oil. And I like to actually mix this when I'm still wet. And even before I get out of the shower, it hydrates, it replenishes. It's 100% pure virgin coconut oil. What I love about Palmer's, they're paraben, phthalate, and dye free. And I just find that when you mix oil while you're still wet, it really, really kind of seals in that moisture, gives you an extra glisten and an extra shine, and it helps to moisturize moisturize your skin extremely well. I need oil during the months. I actually like oil all year round. I like the way it makes the skin look. I think it's great for kind of crepiness and dryness. So I'm, I'm an oil kind of a gal period when it comes to the body. Now with the face, oils are great to use at night. In the daytime, it can be a little trickier because if you apply makeup, if there's a little too much oil on the face, then sometimes it makes the makeup run and it won't, it won't adhere to the skin. So here's what I've been using right now during the winter months. It's kind of my one-two punch to help keep my skin moist, but also allow me to still apply makeup afterward. And that is two products by Drunk Elephant. So we're gonna start with this one. This is the Lala Retro Whip Cream. It is a rescue and recover cream. It has six African oils and ceramides. It helps to protect the skin's barrier. It locks in moisture. And what I love to do is mix it with this other baby. This little one right here is B Hydra Intensive. And it's a hydrating serum and you can either use it on its own, but Drunk Elephant recommends that you mix the two together. This helps to quench and illuminate. It can be used anywhere. It's got pineapple ceramide and pro-vitamin B5. So I find that these two together are just great for the face. I feel nice and moisturized. And then at nighttime, I can add in a facial oil or whatever. I am finding that because my skin is a little sensitive and irritated, I'm having to back off a little bit from my retinol, uh, the retinoids, the, the tretinoin, the glycolic acid. You know, if you saw my skincare video with Marjorie, and I'll provide a link to that. She specifically said, as we use these products to help combat wrinkling and age spots and things like that, listen to your skin. It will tell you everything you need to know. And if you're getting irritated, back off. So I'm kind of in that back off phase right now. I'm just trying to hydro moisturize and make sure that my skin feels good. I can't forget the lips. And so you know this is my go-to. This is my Lansano Lanolin Cream. I discovered it as a breastfeeding mom. My joke is from the nips to the lips. And it is still my, my hands down favorite lip balm. So everything is set. As I now shift over to makeup, what are the things that I'm looking for in makeup? Well, first of all, I don't want overly cakey, heavy, matte. Matte is drying and I'm not looking for drying this time of year. I'm looking for illuminating. I'm not on television news anymore. So my makeup look is much more pared down, dewy, skin showing, whatnot. I even talked about that in my 83 questions video that just aired that, that Right now, it's just less because I don't need as much. So the foundation that I'm using and that I'm really loving is a foundation that I discovered actually from another video, uh, Foundations for Mature Skin, and that is by It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better. And so if you saw that video, you notice that I love this one the most, but I chose a color that was a shade too light. So I went back to Ulta and I found a shade that's a little bit darker. And so here's the dealio. 
you know that I match my foundation to my chest. Well, I like to self tan. And so after self tanning, I'm my darkest. As the self tan fades, I get lighter. So I can either use the dark one by itself or the light one by itself, or in this particular case, they can marry and, and blend. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Every product, by the way, and links will be in the description portion below, so it's very easy for you to find. So the two colors that I'm, I'm going to blend would be Tan Cool 40, and this is Medium Neutral number 33. And between the two of these, I get just the right shade that I'm looking for. So I'm going to apply with a beauty blender, and I literally do just a pump of one and a pump of the other. I'm not using a primer or anything, I'm just going straight onto my moisturized skin. And just blend away. See, and it's so funny, splitting the difference actually gave me just the right foundation color. So sometimes you have to do that. I've talked about that before. It's, it's good to get you know, two colors. If you find a foundation that you absolutely love, get a lighter, get a darker shade. That way, depending as your skin tone changes, whether it's from being in the sun or from self tanning, you can customize and create your own perfect shade for you. So in that case, um, in this case, that's what's happening here. My face and neck are the lightest and I wanna make sure everything matches the chest. A little extra padding in areas of redness and sensitivity, and I can also hit those with the concealer, which I will. You can even use the lanolin cream and dab it underneath your nose as well if you're dealing with super dryness and peeling in that area. Um, for brows, it's NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I've been using this one for a while and I just really like it because it gives me the most natural looking brow. And it's a very fine tipped pen. So it gives you the opportunity to create these nice hair like strokes. You can sort of fill in areas that are sparse. There's just something really cool about this little pen they've created. And so far it's been my go-to. And by the way, how do you beat the price point, right? This shade is also a little bit lighter than the Espresso that I had been using previously, only because the makeup look is going to be lighter. So I'm trying to get a color that's a little more natural and is more of an ashy that kind of matches the, the natural growth that we have going on here. Sarone, hello, it's time. That roots. So now we're ready for eyeshadow. And what I'm really enjoying these days are the eyeshadow sticks. These are by Laura Mercier. We've got Cobblestone, Plum, and Intense Moonlight. They're super easy to apply, and I just blend them with a regular eyeshadow brush. But they're creamy in nature, not a powder. And so they're kind of going on with this creamy vibe here. And well, let me hold down the eyelashes. And so this is cobblestone. It's kind of like a khaki green color. And I'm putting it right in the crease area. And then I'm just gonna take a blending brush and really just sort of smudge it out to give some depth. Sweep it down a little bit over the lid and up and out. These were the colors that I wore in the 83 questions video. Same thing, same makeup look. I'll brush those babies back in place, but you see it gave it some nice depth. And what's great is that even though it's a stick, it just blends so easily. You, you can use your fingers if you want. You know, if you're going for a less precise look, you can just kind of smudge it with your fingers. I just prefer the brush. It keeps it off my hands. and I feel it's just a little more accurate for me. But total personal preference. The darkest one is Plum. That's going just on the outer corner. Kind of like for an outer wing. And I will use a small but angled brush just for that area to blend and soften it. It's 
Okay. Last but not least, that intense moonlight is a real pretty sparkly, kind of a light gold. So I really use it more for just the inner corner, just for a pop. The other two colors are more of a matte shade. This is iridescence. So it just lightens up the inner corner. for luminosity. Who doesn't want a little glow, right? And you'll see I'm going to have a little bit more glow going on on the rest of the face as well, so it'll all make sense. And if you want, you can kick a little extra right here underneath the eyebrow. But that's it. This is not an overly done look. So next up is a waterproof, smudge-proof eyeliner by Lancome in black that I'm just going to use for a little tight lining. It's just for a tiny bit more definition in the uh, waterline of the upper eyelid, just hugging right where the lashes are. And then the final step will be taking care of your eyelashes. For a lot of you, it might mean putting on mascara at this point. Uh, if you have lash extensions, then just comb them out. Totally up to you as to how much you want to do here. Okay, now the most important part, concealer. Back to IT Cosmetics. I'm using Bye Bye Under Eye for a couple of reasons. First of all, the coverage, impeccable. Secondly, very emollient and not drying. So a little goes a long way with this stuff. I mean, I take a tiny amount. My color is tan and you just put it on. I use my middle finger and then I use the other one and I rub it. You're supposed to warm it up to make it more blendable. And then you can just take it and kind of pat it right where you need it to go. You can use your fingers. Again, you can use a blending brush, whatever you need. And oh, by the way, this is great also to cover any redness that you might have around your nose. Just kind of pat it in. Okay. Concealer's on. So, I am not going to overly powder this look. I really like the dewy effect that's going on because the skin is glistening and the face is, but I do believe that if a concealer is super creamy and you don't set it somewhat, the illumination, the light bounce that happens from a creamy concealer can actually accentuate areas that protrude under the eyes. So it can make bags seem bigger because the light is hitting it. So it has a powder and, and normally I use this, carry it in my purse, sort of a setting powder, a blotting powder. It's it by by pores. But I also find it's really good in setting this particular concealer. So I just take a flat brush, touch it in the powder, not a whole lot, but I'm trying to cut some of the shine of the concealer so that it won't accentuate any kind of puffiness, bulging, helps to set the concealer, but still isn't going to take away from the overall dewy look that I've got going on with the foundation and whatnot. So it's just a little setting that's happening here. And you can do it if you applied it like at the tip of your nose, just, you know, hit it there, just wherever you hit the concealer, you know, touch it with a translucent powder. But that's it. See, it didn't really change the overall glow, but it helped to set that concealer. So speaking of glow, these, I, I tell you what, you know, I can't get, I should probably sit up. You think I'm naked. I, I still have a towel. I can't get enough of Laura Mercier's powders. You know that I use the trans, translucent loose forever and a day. I love that powder. It's the most amazing setting powder ever. I'm not trying to mattify this look and I'm not trying to overly set it, but Laura Mercier has a couple of new powders out and you'll be able to tell, let me see how, if I can hold these, just by the, the color on, on the covers of these, right? So this one's a little bit warmer, this one more honey, this one lighter, and these powders have iridescence to, to them. So they kick in a little bit more of a glow and 
I'm going to use all three. Now, this can be very similar if you have a highlight contour palette that has a variety of shades, but this is in fact a setting powder, so it's a little bit different in that regard. The one I'm primarily gonna use is this one called Honey Star. Let me open it up and give you a look. So as you can see, it's a warmish color but it still has a little wee bit of an iridescence to it. So I'm not gonna use a whole heck of a lot. I'm gonna take a large brush, not a powder puff. I don't want too much powder. So I kind of take it and I dip it in the cap, shake it, and lightly touch it on. And so it helps to set the foundation, but it's also warming up the skin a little bit. And I particularly love the slight iridescence that comes with this. You know, it, it makes me feel like my skin has a summer glow, even though it's winter. And that's kind of cool. Okay, so at this point, I take now the darker color. It's called Cosmic Rose. You can use that as a bronzer slash blush. Here's what it looks like up close. See, it's kind of a warmer reddish tone. Just a dab will do ya. So the smaller side brush. And just a little hit right up here where the sun would get me. Again, I'm using it like a bronzer. Not a lot. You can use it for contouring. Same thing. And then the highlight color, the Celestial Light, is actually lighter than it looks. Looks like so, but it really has more of this gold iridescence to it. And so I just use this as a, a pure highlight. Areas like the tip of the nose, right here by the eye, cheekbone. You can use it right under your brow. You can use it right over your brow, wherever you want a little highlight. Chin. Anyway, just really neat concept powders. I wanted to bring them to your attention. Um, if you're looking for something that, that offers that sort of natural glowy look but is still a setting powder, um, these are wonderful additions to what Laura Mercier has brought to the equation so far. So we're practically done. And before I let the hair out, and by the way, you've probably noticed that I have my hair twisted and flipped to the other side, as I showed you in my hair tutorial from the other week on how to get volume up front. Um, this way my hair is setting in the other direction, so when I let it go, it'll, it'll give me the volume that I want. We will carry on now to lips, and my favorite pencil is still New Truffle by NYX. Super inexpensive, and to me it's just a great nude. The lip color that I'll wear is going to be more of a sort of iridescence mauve color that I wore in the 83 questions video that you inquired about as well. The long come again mauve color description will have the color and the link to it. Goes on creamy. Dries a little bit, but stays moisturizing. It's an interesting, interesting texture. Long lasting as well. Love that. And I love this shade because it's not a, a death mauve. <laughs> you know, it's got, I think it's because it's got some shimmer to it and enough I don't know, pinkish brown in it. It's just the right color without, without making you look unwell. <laughs> so anyway, we want to look well. We want to look healthy. All right, makeup is applied. Let me, let me get dressed and I'll get right back. And oh, by the way, no amount of makeup illuminates like the glow that comes from a satisfied and self-actualized woman. That is a line from my book that's coming out on April 5th of this year. I have a link to that as well in the description portion. It is available for pre-order now. For those of you who have already pre-ordered, thank you so much for being with me. There are amazing things and exciting announcements to come regarding the book, but this completes the overall skincare and makeup look for dry and sensitive skin. I really hope you found it helpful. Comments and ideas, please list below in the comment section for future videos. I am quite aware of the fact that we are at the beginning of a new year, so I know sort of where your headspace is. I'm making sure that a lot of videos that are coming out are really tailored toward 
creating the best you. And I know that it is all encompassing. It is beauty, lifestyle, wellness, everything. So you can be sure that all of that will be included in videos coming up really, really soon. If you have not become a part of this community yet and subscribe, please click the subscribe button, enable all the notifications so that you'll know when a video comes out every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, social media is a great way for us to stay connected and communicate with each other during the week. And if you like the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. So go out with your dewy, healthy, healthy, glowy skin. Be bold and be blessed this week. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Bye.